Hi everyone, another Diophantine question for you to solve. Can you prove that this equation has no integer solutions with the exception of x, y, z all equaling zero? Pause the video if you want to give this problem a go and when you're ready, we'll go for the solution. To begin this problem, we'll notice that the right hand side is always a multiple of two and therefore always even. And therefore the left hand side must sum to an even, in which case there are two possibilities. So we have case one, where we have x, y, z are all even numbers, or we have case two, in which case we have one even and two odds. Now, if we consider case one where we have three evens, there must be some power of two, which is the highest common factor of these three terms. So we can divide each of these by some power of two to the n and remain within integers. But by doing so, we would have moved into case two, where we would now have two odds and one even. Now, to answer this question, we're going to use something called modular arithmetic. For those who aren't aware, modular arithmetic is dividing by a number and then looking at its remainder. So in this case, we can divide x squared, y squared and z squared by four and consider what the remainder will be. If we take an even number, which will be a multiple of two, times it by itself, then we're guaranteed to make it a multiple of four. And therefore the remainder when divided by four will be zero. Likewise, if we take an odd number and we square it and then divide it by four, the remainder will be one. So y squared and z squared will have a remainder of one, which means the left-hand side of this question will leave a remainder of two when we divide it by four. But if we consider the right-hand side of this question, two x, y, z, we're multiplying here an even and two odd numbers. But any time we multiply two with another even number, we are guaranteed to have a multiple of four. And therefore, this will leave a remainder of zero when we divide it by four. But this contradicts our earlier finding that the left-hand side is a remainder of two when divided by four. And therefore, we must have no integer solutions to this question with the exception of x, y, z equaling zero.